Welcome back everyone. I am so excited. Guess what? We're doing another self-care video. For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. That's right. For the record, you ain't trying to grow any stuff for you. That's right. For the record, lab on me going auto. This is not going to be a girl chat. This is going to be a product look at and we're going to do essentials for a first date. Now, I wanted to round up things that I personally use on a date, things that I think will make you stand out, things that I think will make you smell good, look good, feel good, feel your best. And I'm going to kind of talk about like the different trends that I'm personally following this year that are going to help me feel like my most sexiest, beautiful self when I go out on dates and to just have like a really hot girl summer, if you know what I mean. I apologize for the lighting behind me. It's so gloomy outside today. I don't know what's going on, but yeah, bear with me. It's a little bit bright back there, but I'm going to go over all of my first date product essentials. You guys are really going to want to watch this video because I really have the best stuff in front of me right now. Things that I use on a daily basis and things that I also think really allow you to stand out on a date, if you know what I mean. Like things that will just have you remembered. So I wanted to thank Sephora for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get into it. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know what products you end up purchasing after the end of this video that you need in your life. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, where should we begin? Okay, we're gonna start off with foundation. And I kind of wanna do like a quick pep talk. So for me, I have probably done a Sephora sponsored video many times. And every time I do a Sephora sponsored video, I always talk about this foundation. Now the reason why is because I use it in my legit everyday life. I have not really switched it up. It's my go-to, go-to, go-to. If you don't already own this, what's going on here? This is the Hourglass Vanish Stick Foundation. You need this in your life. I'm going to explain why. It's buildable. It can go from medium coverage to very full coverage. If you have a blemish on your face and you really need to cover it up, this is gonna do the trick. And what I also love is throughout the day, it doesn't sweat off the face. It doesn't make you look greasy or gross. Like it really does stay super matte. Now the fact that it's summertime, I really want my foundation to kind of stay the same all day. I just don't want it to get too, too, too dewy. I don't want it to look crazy, especially for a first date. I want it to stay on my face, not slip off. I could literally go under water in the pool wearing this, come up and look the same. You know that trend where they're like, take her swimming? Take me swimming in my hourglass vanish stick. Nothing's gonna happen, babe. Nothing. So pick this up if you haven't already. And I also wanted to do an honorable mention. I don't know where it is. I could not find it before this video because my stuff is literally all over the place, but the Fenty foundation, I'll put it on the screen, is another go-to of mine. I usually alternate between the two of them. The Fenty foundation I'll do for a more casual situation, a more casual date. I know I'm gonna be maybe just hanging out, doing things during the day, and I don't need something super, super, super full coverage. That's the one that I'll always grab. So I wanted to at least include that in today's video as well because they're both really great. So depending on your circumstances, whether it's a day date, Fenty, if it's a night date, Hourglass. You're welcome. Okay, next up is a new favorite of mine. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Sun Kissed Glow Bronzer. Now, I am a sucker for um, any type of cream bronzer. This is the color, so it's absolutely gorgeous for my com particular complexion. This is in two medium. Um, what I love about cream bronzers is that they're buildable. You can put them on a fresh face. You don't have to wear foundation with them. You can really blend them in. They are multi-purpose. I like to use these on a date for not only my contour, my nose. You can do your eyeshadow as it's. I don't always use eyeshadow. I haven't really been wearing eyeshadow that much. So I'll take like the cream bronzer, put it on my eye, blend it in, good to go. It's so gorgeous. This one right here is the perfect color because it's not too red, it's not too yellow, it's more of a neutral. And it just looks so natural. Get a cream bronzer if you haven't already. It's perfect for a date night. Next up, we have the Urban Decay Stay Naked Correcting Concealer. Now, I got this in a super light shade because I love when my under eyes are a little bit brighter on a date. I just think it looks a little bit more awake, beautiful. It just is more of an alert look. And this one right here is insane. This is probably the best concealer I've ever used in my life. Like, honestly, I'm always kind of like juggling between this and the Maybelline Age Rewind, but I think this one is honestly better. Like. It literally says on here, up to 24 hour wear. You want this for a date night. You don't want something that's gonna crease. You don't want something that's gonna like start to like, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but I've seen people who have had concealer under their eyes and it starts to like rub off after a while. You don't want that. This one is super full coverage. It's going to get the job done. Beautiful, creamy, easy to blend, perfect for a date night. You're welcome. Okay, next up we have the Fenty Unattached Lip Paint. 
This right here is insane. I am really, really, really loving these colors. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I've been wearing a lot of like reddish, pinkish colors on my lips and cheeks. I just find that it's super pretty for the summertime. This is the perfect time to do it. This color right here is very bright, so you might not want to wear it for a first date. Let me just show you guys. This might not be something that you want to wear for a first date, but if you honestly are a bold person, this is really great. I personally would because this particular lip paint does not rub off. So it's able to be kissed with and things like that. Just in case you know you're going to sneak a little kiss in there. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. This is going to be great for that. You're going to love it. But for all of my girlies who just kind of want a more simpler vibe, I also have this Fenty Heat Beauty um, lip gloss. This is in hot cherry. This one is a plumper. So it's going to give you like that little sting vibe I'm wearing out my lips right now. This right here is insane I love that it gives a hint of red just a hint 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 of like that color that you want, but it's not too bright It's perfect. I love this. It's a great lip gloss and it's not sticky That's my favorite part about this It doesn't stick to your hair or anything like that and you're going to be able to kiss with it It's not gonna feel super weird. It kind of gives like a lip balm vibe after a minute there Next up, I have this brand that I've actually never heard of, but I really love this, and it's the Merit Tinted Lip Oil in Bel Air, and this is a lip oil. So what I love about lip oils is they keep your lips conditioned. There's nothing worse than a chapped lip situation on a first date. What are we doing? We do not want chapped lips. So this is going to give you that lip oil feel. So if these two are not good for you, they're too bright, they're too loud, they're too crazy, you're gonna wanna go for something like this. It's clear, it looks nice, it gives your lips a nice luscious look. It's perfect for kissing because it's very like, I don't know, it's more of like an oil. It just, it doesn't have like a sticky feel to it. It's very like, lightweight and it looks really nice on the lips you're gonna love this and i just think that having you know your lips moisturized is important we want kissable lips of course mascara so if we're going for a nice you know basic eye that's personally what i like for a first date if you guys want me to do a first date makeup tutorial let me know but this one right here is the lancome lash idol i'm so excited about this mascara i'm not really a huge mascara person but i love the curvature of it and it just really makes the eyelashes super long i never thought that i cared about things like that but i suddenly do because i don't want to wear fake lashes on a date so this is going to give that fake lash look without having to wear them so it's so great and i honestly think that i'm a mascara girl now i have the freck xl now if you're doing like a beach date or some sort of picnic vibe or something like that i don't know freckles are cute to me Maybe I'm the only person who's obsessed with freckles, but I just think that they're so cute. I have a bunch on my face naturally, but when I put on makeup, they kind of go away. So I like to re-add them. And um, this is just a cute way to give your face like that natural, but not natural, natural look. Does that make sense? It's not natural, but it is. It looks like it is. It looks like it's coming on your face. It's a literal, wow, dirty. But yes, this is a really great thing to have. You're gonna want this. And my last makeup item is this Makeup by Mario blush. This is a really, really, really light blush. This is going to be good if you want like a nice, subtle, sun-kissed look, nothing too crazy and vibrant. This is in Creamy Peach. It's a soft pop power blush. I really like the color of it. it this is the one that I wear in the daytime when I know I'm just gonna have like a nice, sun-kissed, like natural finish. I just... I'm really loving the natural look guys. I don't know what to tell you. I just really love it It looks so beautiful, especially on a date, especially in general You're going to want to go the more natural route, but intentional intentional is beautiful All right, let's move on to body products because they're honestly my favorite. I really could care less about makeup Like I love makeup. We all have to wear it or not all of us But the ones who do feel like they have to wear it You already know the vibe but body products now that's a whole nother ball game So we're gonna get into fragrance the Sol de Janeiro Sea and Soul this is insane. I don't know when this came out, but I literally saw it on the Sephora website and ordered it immediately. This is so girly and beautiful and so it just smells amazing. Like I'm freaking obsessed with it. It is so gorgeous. I think that anybody would love this on a date. It's not super strong. You're definitely gonna wanna layer this with a perfume, but this is a great way to just spray it into your hair, your body right out of the shower. The perfect first date body spray, body mist. And it goes in the hair, which is really nice. I love that. And I also bought the big bottle of the Brazilian Crush 68 Brazilian Jasmine and Pink Dragon Fruit. Guys, I'm sorry, but this is insane. Like, Sol de Janeiro knows exactly what they're doing when they come out with fragrances and lotions and things like that because they do take their time with the smell. This right here smells amazing. Like, I don't really know how to describe this smell. 
It almost has like an underlying of Baccarat in it, but not necessarily too strong. It has its own smell also, but I really love this because it does smell luxurious to me. Like it's not cheap smelling. Like a lot of body sprays can come off a little cheap, a little young. These are very like grown and gorgeous and beautiful and it, they would smell good on anyone and they're affordable. So if you don't wanna spend a ton of money on a high-end perfume but you wanna smell good on your first date, these are going to be memorable fragrances, okay? Note that, you want to try these. You're gonna be smelling like a sexy walking flower and he's gonna remember it and think about it later like, damn, she smelled really freaking good. Haley knows best. Okay, so I have a really dope product that <laughs> I don't know why it took me so long to get this. This is the weightless body treatment with 2% BHA from Paula's Choice. So this is essentially like a high-end medicated lotion for your skin. It essentially says that it exfoliates to reveal younger looking skin, softens rough bump skin, and improves texture and tone. So what I love about this is it's not just gonna be like a traditional lotion that you're gonna put on your skin and it's not gonna just it's, it's, it's only going to moisturize you. No, this is going to actually improve your skin texture. This is going to improve your skin. We want our body skin to be beautiful and textureless and gorgeous in the summertime, and this is going to do it. It also says to follow with a sunscreen. I appreciate that because we do need to be wearing sunscreen, all of us, because it is summer, that sun is hot, and we need to protect our skin. So this is going to give you a nice, younger, beautiful texture to your body skin. It's gonna make you feel more secure and beautiful and sexy. What am I gonna say after that? You're welcome, you're welcome. Okay, I have another fragrance for you. This I'm so freaking excited about. So Asia essentially put me onto this. This is the Chanel Chance. If you can afford this, please go out and buy it. It is the summer fragrance. I don't know why it took me so long to pick this up. I love it. It's lemony, it's zesty, it's fresh, it smells so good. This is a very sexy fragrance and it's perfect for a first date. This is not going to smell like the traditional average person, so not everybody's gonna be wearing this. And I think it's a better smelling fragrance over like the Dolce and Gabbana light blue. Like this kind of reminds me of light blue, but it's not like anything like it at the same time. Like I think it's better, it's stronger, and it has more of like a zest to it that uh, light blue doesn't have. So this is to me a better option to pick up. They have it in like three different sizes. So, you know, depending on your price that you're willing to spend, Pick it up and try it out. Now, would this really be a Haley Gamba video if I didn't have some type of exfoliation in it? This is the Loctin. Oh, I never know how to pronounce it right. Loctin, Loctin. This is the delicious paste. It's the exfoliating and smoothing paste. Yes, just get it. It smells good. It feels good. Perfect for the shower. After you're done washing your body, exfoliate, babe. Your knees, your freaking elbows, your armpits, your butt, your everything, your feet. Exfoliate. This is the secret to my skin looking so good. So many people ask me, Haley, why does your skin look so good from when you were overweight to now? Like your body looks like stretch mark free. You have like no blemishes, things like that. It's because I took care of my skin in all stages. I always exfoliated, I always lotioned, and I always applied oils, and I swear by it because I feel like it really helps make your skin a little bit more elastic, a little bit more brighter, a little bit like less textured, and it just overall improves the entire appearance. Pick this up, it smells good. It's really good with the other products from Loctane that I also own, and they're in my shower. I have like their shower oil and everything, but so good, pick it up. Everyone needs a new exfoliation. This is one to get. And last but not least, after the end of the day, after your date is over, the Tatcha Deep Cleanse Cleanser is gonna get it done, baby. This is the perfect cleanser to help remove all of the impurities and makeup off your face. Obviously, I like to do a double cleanse in the evening. This is going to help get it done. It essentially just says it's balancing and exfoliating cleanser. It has Japanese loofah fruit extract in it. So good, amazing. Tatcha's products are honestly very, very, very luxurious. I know that they're a little bit expensive, but I just want you guys to understand that sometimes it's worth the investment if what you're getting is going to do the job better than something else. If it's not, fine, don't get it. But if it does, get it. And I find that what I like about this is it doesn't burn my eyes. It gets my skin nice and stripped clean without it actually stripping my skin. Like I feel like it feels smoother afterwards. And it's just a nice, easy way to enjoy my night routine because I don't play about my nighttime skincare routine. Okay guys, I hope you really enjoyed today's video. These are all amazing products for a first date. Let me know if you guys pick up any of them down below. 
and um, let me know if there's any products that you guys want me to try from Sephora that I haven't mentioned in today's video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Enjoy your guys' dates if you're going on one, and if you're not, you're just buying this because you want to. Enjoy it too. Products are always the best therapy for me. So this was an amazing haul. I genuinely love everything in this freaking haul and I am going to be using it daily. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you again, Sephora, for sponsoring today's video. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys. Mwah.